Hello my friends, welcome back to another video with Adam Arrow Outdoors and today I'm gonna show you the clothes I'm wearing and I'm bringing when winter camping and my sleeping conditions what's going on inside of the sleeping bag what am I wearing there and where do I have all my gear etc it's about minus 4, minus 5 degrees celsius right now so it's quite warm and uh, I'm just gonna get started on dressing up so yeah that's my plan let's do this guys and let's hope you learn something or at least enjoy seeing me out here in the woods almost naked okay let's do this first I'm gonna start with uh, the base layer on my upper body I have this shirt as my base layer this shirt is actually constructed with small channels right here and those channels will push uh, the sweat etc comes from my body to the next layer so the first layer, I don't want to be all sweaty and such. I want it to transport the water to the next layer. The next layer is a shirt and this will suck up all the moisture. So first layer, transporting moisture. Second layer, absorbing moisture. And that's my third layer. I usually have this down jacket. This will trap all the warm fluids and everything that's going on inside it will trap that heat and just warm me up on top of this one I usually have my jacket this is a semi waterproof jacket it's a fake jacket from Nepal this will protect me from wind and moisture from the outside and that I usually have when it's snowing and such if it's not snowing and it's really cool, I usually have this fleece jacket and uh, this will actually be much warmer than that one but that one takes wind a lot better. I can't use these two together because this one doesn't fit in my jacket. I will talk about uh, the jackets a bit more later and the last piece of jacket that I use. But first I will actually start to put on some pants and such. I start out with my underpants and over that I have really thin long johns. Uh, when it's below minus 10 degrees celsius I might have a thicker pair which I will show later on but these down to minus 10 whatever you do it's it's enough for me at least. Uh, then I usually go with socks when I use these boots I usually have three pair of socks because that's needed so I have one very thin pair. After these socks I usually put on pants these are my pants it's like outdoor pants and into the pants the down jacket goes and I prefer a thinner one so I can have it underneath my other clothes because having a down jacket by the fire will destroy the down jacket okay then pants are on now my second pair of socks this is merino wool socks and I have those on my second layer and on top of these socks I have wool socks these are quite tight ones, I wouldn't want to sleep in them, but they're perfect now. If it would be really cold, I would use these skiing pants. But I guess I would use these if it were below minus 15, maybe minus 20 degrees. I talked about them in my latest video, so watch that one if you want to see more of these pants. Now I will put on my jacket, the waterproof one. And on top of these clothes, I have my snow pants and my snow jacket. These pants and the jacket are very good to keep moisture out. They are not waterproof, but they are water resistant. These boots are not insulated. It's just standard boots. These work with three pairs of socks down to about minus 17 degrees. If it's colder than that, I have to run a lot. I tried that last winter, it wasn't preferable. I button them up so that snow doesn't get in from underneath the pants and into the boots. That's the pants. Then the snow jacket. I usually have this hat. This is a bit thinner hat. I do have a bit thicker as well. Gloves. Working gloves. I have these. It's guide. I do enjoy them. They are quite hard to dry out in the evening. So I have to spend like one hour drying this one out which is not preferable, but yeah, it works fine. And these are for resting, my resting gloves. Uh, I usually have these when skiing etc as well, and these are really comfortable. You can have with all the fingers in one pocket as well, 
but this one has one loose. It's the trigger finger. When skiing, if this is too warm for you, I would have a pair of working gloves inside of these ones instead of these wool insulators inside. So that's usually my combination while skiing. And when do I use all this equipment? Well, I use it while resting. All the layers I have now, it's only for resting. I wouldn't be able to work or hike or ski in all these clothes. I always want to freeze just a little when hiking, working, skiing, etc. So I don't sweat because if you sweat, you die. That's a common saying and it's true. The last thing I will talk about is my extra gear. I have it in a small waterproof bag. Uh, I have one spare hat. This is usually my evening hat. When I worked all day in this one, I put this warm one on. I have one spare of underpants. Uh, this is a bit longer one, a little bit uh, warmer as well. I have one spare t-shirt, the second layer of my body. This is the one that usually gets really wet, so I have at least one that I can change to. I have two spares of socks, one wool, big one, and one of these grey army socks. Those is also a good combination, and I could use this instead of the merino wool wool combo I use now. I have one of these neck things, buff or whatever it's called. Nice, a little scarf if you will. And I have these warm underpants. This I use while resting. I would never work in these ones. They are quite warm to be honest. And I would never work in all these clothes. Maybe if I went through the ice and then started working to get all my heat back. Or if I just woke up on the morning and uh, I was frozen. I could work until my core temperature is up. Uh, water freeze very fast during winter. So I have this one close to my body. I usually have one liter with me when I go out. And that one I have around my neck close to my body. So I hang it like this and have it inside there. When I'm working and only have three layers, I have it inside of my t-shirt. And your body temperature will get this water around your body temperature in heat. This is all the gear I bring when winter camping. The next step is my sleeping conditions. Before starting, I just want to say, I never go into my sleeping bags with wet clothes. Before bed and each morning, I dry my gear. And this is really important if you have a fire and are able to dry your clothes before going into the sleeping bag, do it. Okay then, so to start with is what you see now. The one person bivy. It's not waterproof, but it is water resistant. On every camping trip I do, I have this one with me. And I have it over my foam sleeping pad all the time. If you open it up like this, you see two sleeping bags. I have one free season sleeping bag and like a, a thin winter cover for the free season sleeping bag. These two combines will give you a winter sleeping bag. I sleep comfortable in temperatures down to about minus 25 degrees. I have slept in minus 42 with these two sleeping bags, but that is not very comfortable. So yeah, comfortable down to minus 25, but you will survive in colder temperatures. My phone sleeping pad underneath as well. It's just a thin one. If it's really cold and you don't build a lying bench, you would need more than one. Like minus 30 degrees Celsius or so, I would recommend a, either a thicker one or multiple ones. I know in like Arctic expeditions and such, they used four foam sleeping pads just to get up from the cold ground. Nice, I will just go to bed then and I will talk you through it. What I bring into the sleeping bag and uh, all that. Start out with my pillow. I use the sleeping bag bag <laughs> and I push down especially the soft things that I have. So the pants are going down. My snow pants are going down, my snow jackets are going down. I'd say that's, that's enough for a pillow actually. When I don't bring my snow jacket and my snow pants, I usually have my black jacket and my pants instead. This jacket and my pants I don't bring into the sleeping bag. I do however push it up inside of the bivy, on the side of my pillow. 
same with the pants. If I've managed to dry out my underpants and my long johns, I will keep these two when I'm sleeping. If these are wet, I won't bring them into the sleeping bag. Uh, I usually sleep with this one. They don't get too warm and not too cool, so this is perfect. On my feet, I usually don't have anything. Uh, what I do is remove my down jacket and push into the bottom of my sleeping bag. This is now warm from my body heat and it will warm up my cold feet. And this sleeping bag is a little too long for me, so it is a perfect add to the sleeping bag and to not get my feet cold. If it's really cold, I use these wool socks. They don't sit very tight on my feet, which is really important. Because if you have too tight socks while sleeping, they will actually block the warm blood from getting down to your feet. So if you have like three or four pair of socks, you will only make it colder for yourself. So one pair of wool socks that's really like loose sitting is the perfect thing for cold feet in a sleeping bag. So when that's, that's in, I do change hats because this one is warmer and I always sleep with a hat on, even in the summers. If this one is dry, I throw it into the sleeping bag. The spare clothes I also just have inside of the sleeping bag so that I can put it on if needed during the night. The best thing to do is to have as little clothes on you when going to sleep. If you freeze during the night you always then have more clothes to put on. But if you put on all the clothes in the beginning you will have to crawl out of the sleeping bag and start running. My water bottles I have inside of my thinner uh, sleeping bag. They usually won't freeze when they're inside of one of the sleeping bag systems because you will heat this one up a little as well. Now I usually take off my shirt. If this t-shirt would be wet now, I would choose to my spare t-shirt, but this one is dry. So t-shirt is on, this one is dry, so it goes down into the sleeping bag. If my socks are dry, which they are now, I throw them into the sleeping bag as well. Uh, the gloves I try to dry. If they are not dry, I would take my winter gloves uh, and push in. Because if you start to freeze in your hands during the night, it, it's nice with a pair of gloves inside. But these are really hard to dry, so usually I don't get this dry before going to bed. So I will leave them outside, usually at the head. The boots, they will freeze actually. All boots will freeze when it's really cold, so you need at least the high end of the boot to be warm when waking up. Otherwise, it, you can't really get into the boots in the morning because they're just frozen solid. So I always use my boots on the top of my sleeping pad and under me. The long part is under me. The only thing sticking out is the wet part and the big part. And if you have one on each side, they will actually work as a stop, so you can't like roll over if you're sleeping close to a cliff or anything like that. Or just sleeping on a small bench and don't want to fall down in the snow. The last jacket, when it's really cold, I have it on my upper body on top of me. This really makes a huge difference. So I usually have it like this. And this is it. This is how I usually sleep. A couple of things that's really important is that you don't want to have too much clothes on you while going down in your sleeping bag. You want to have a lot of clothes and materials underneath you and on top of you. The last thing I want to show you is one thing that I've noticed works quite good. These sleeping bags can take a temperature down to approximately minus 25, minus 30 degrees maybe. If it's colder than that, it's really cold inside these sleeping bags. And I can't heat up the sleeping bags with my body weight. What I do then is actually making the sleeping bag smaller. This one is uh, a strap for my sleeping pad and the bivy. I grab it around the bottom of my sleeping bag and tighten it up. I can't stretch out fully now, but I can sleep in a fetal position and that will keep me much warmer and I will actually be able to warm up most of my sleeping bag. 
This is also something Emma does in her sleeping bag all the time because she has an arm issue sleeping bag. They are quite big for a girl her size and this works really good. Nice. Since I am a YouTuber, I have a lot of batteries and such. Those ones I want close to my body, same with my phone for photographs. And uh, I also have contact lenses and the box for that contains water and that one I also want in my pocket. Otherwise that will freeze. When I go to bed, I have all those things in my sleeping bag as well. There's a couple of things you should uh, take with you from this trip. Play with your gear, remove gear, put on gear, remove gear, put on gear, depending on how warm you are. Never sweat. In the sleeping bag, don't have too much on you. Focus on having things under you and over you instead. The last thing I want to say is know your gear. Know your limitation and know your gear's limitation before you go out solo in cold, cold winter. So that's really important. I tried out this gear and myself in temperatures down to about minus 42 degrees Celsius. So I know when to wear stuff, not to wear it. I know how I will react in those cold temperatures and such. Great, that's it for today. This was everything I wanted to show you. Awesome. Have an awesome week. See you in the next one, guys. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos at Adam Arrow Outdoors. Share it if you want to, that would be much appreciated. And hit that bell button for notifications to never miss out on a video. If you want to support me and join me on this journey, I recently opened up a Patreon account. So go ahead and check that out. All the links will be in the description below. I really hope to see you back in the next one. Until then, take care and stay safe.